Hey, welcome back. I'm going to take you up the road here. I got, uh, oh, there's not enough in there. And then I'm going to come back and light the fire. I want to warm it up in here. It's one degree over there. Yeah, what's it here? Ah, uh, that's not right. That's showing, uh, about minus three. But we can fix that. Get a little bit more accurate there. Hang on. Yeah. I can't see. Now what did you do? Can't do that and touch it, so oh good, I can hardly see. There you done. I got this here so I I know I got a freaking hood that's in the way. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Then put the hoods back on. All right, let's get out the door. Ooh, hoo, hoo, is it ever freaking cold in here? Ooh. Okay, let's go. Well, outside is minus nine Celsius. In other words, it's freaking cold. And uh, I light the fire, and I gotta go feed the birds. And I gotta make sure I don't fall down the freaking driveway here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's stick it right here. For now, until I need my both hands. Yeah, hey, what's going on there? Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, all I gotta do is go tie it up to the mailbox and away we go. Come back. I plowed this all up yesterday. My wife did all the shoveling. Not up much so much out here, but she does the back like the cubby hole. <laughs> and around the back. And with the snowboard yesterday, right here you can see I started drifting. <laughs> the thing wouldn't go straight anymore. It just started sliding down off the road here. Oh, uh, oh there's a camp. I have that old with heater going in there. Okay. I want to go for a ride. Huh. Be careful here. Not lucky, my neighbor there. He gets the sanding truck uses his driveway to turn around. Sands it. Also plows it. I don't know what the kind of deal that is. Okay, let's get this on here. Uh, hang on. I know 
almost you wiggling. Yeah, I gotta put you down. There's no way I get this. There, it's done. Done. Okay, let's get some of this. Oh, geez, look at that. It's full of nuts. Not at all. Better not drop any. Okay, let's get in. Wow, so many geese. It's crazy. The turkeys are down the end of the, we call Lover's Lane there. Not too far away from the house. I got a picture, I forgot to post it, so maybe I'll throw it in this video. I'll show you how close they come to the house. They're usually in these trees right here, but uh, they're probably hunkered down somewhere in the, out of the wind, and I don't blame them at all. Ooh, I should go back the way I came. This is sheer ice up here. And I don't need to give my head a good crack. I mean, the old lady hit me with the frying pan once in a while. That's about all the guy can take, but... You know how fast you go down when you slip in the ice. I broke my arm as a kid going to play hockey. Skated down the road. Popped over the boards. And between the, the rink and the the shed where you put your skates and all that on. I'm just gonna go in there and put my boots down. And uh, I broke my arm. So I had to pack everything up. I had to climb over that stupid boards twice. And then uh, skate home. My dad, he grabs my arm. He says, what's wrong? He tries to pull my freaking sleeve back. There. And uh, I'll tell you right now, that hurt more than when I fell. Okay. Yeah. That's enough of that. We'll just build a fire. Raise the temperature in here a bit. All right. There. Even now you should be able to see a bit. Actually, I think the first part would work better. Maybe one of these would get rid of that too. Let's see how it works. Just a little bit more. Oh, I 
It's freaking cold out there. Woohoo. Give me some of this crap. Okay. Let's see if we can get her going here. Those trappers used to do it, and they go up the trap line, come back to a cold cabin, <coughs> and have to get a match lit or a fire lit. Still one degree. No, it'll take a while. Okay. What's this? One day. I'm going to get you in a better place than much in my back here. And you're still too high up. So let's go over here. I'll put you right here. Get rid of that. Put the knees here. And this is called a yodel. I'm not I don't remember what. throw off enough heat for this place in this garage. I only broke my, my arm once, and that was the only thing I ever got broken growing up. Yeah. <coughs> I gotta open up the door for a sec. Get the draft going. I remember when I first fires when, when I retired came out here. Everybody said 
Well, you got to put the things, you got to build it from the bottom up. And I thought, okay, so you put the little stuff on the bottom, and that makes sense. And you put all the big stuff up on top. And uh, I had a hard time getting a firelight to light. And then uh, I thought, the hell with it, I'm going to try it the other way around. And it worked good ever since. Mind you. That's warm enough. And I do have a lot of kindling outside still in the cubby hole. I filled up the rack about half full. Actually, that should catch. Let me put this little whip it up there here. Well, you can hear it creaking. Okay. Yeah. Starting a bear coat yet? Not really. Well, he's coming. He's going to go right over there and pee. Thanks for that. Bear? Come here. Now oh, where's he going? Whew. Bear. He's gone up to the loft, but he can't. I think the gate's closed. Come here. T-R-E-A-T, he'd whoop over here in no time flat. And after several years of looking for this thing, it has magically reappeared where it wasn't supposed to be, ever. So, here it is. The fellow that gave me that was a carpenter that we hired here, and he uh, made our inside second, really, the middle bathroom, so it would uh, have two doors going in it, so it went from the bedroom and one from uh, right there. Don't you go near this, man. I'm telling you. And, uh, there we go. I'm just sticking it in there. Oh, it's kind of a small piece. I guess you're not going to, I don't know, I guess you can see a little bit. Here's a nice little piece of cedar. Anyway, this guy did that, and he put the stairs in the garage for me so I can get up to the loft. We used to, right, right over about over my head here, there used to be a, uh, <coughs> one of those pull down stairs, and then you unfold it and you're in a ladder. You got a ladder to climb up. <coughs> How you doing, pal? Say hi. I can't see if it feels smoky in here. I better check that door, make sure. There you go. There you go. I see all the snow. You want to come in? Okay.
Let me see here. <coughs> it's going up. I'm going to kick it back here and see if there's smoke pouring out. i got air in the front of my eyes. There we go. I've lit this a couple times where the uh, draft is going the other opposite way. And what happens is it just blows smoke in here like crazy. And then that freaking fire alarm up there goes off. I also have an electric heater here. One of those shop heaters. <coughs> and it's not doesn't work good enough either. Plus I got another heater upstairs. And uh, well if you have all three of them going you're going to go through a lot of energy. Mostly electricity. And the bill and the and the paper it takes to pay for it. Like dollar bills. Well, it's coming up to temperature here. You can see. I don't know how well you can see the, <coughs> the gauge. Where is it? There it is. That's a, almost 300. Let me see here. I can't see. Anyway, I'm going to stay here for a bit. You can have a little fireside chat while I waste some wood. Oh. The reason why I want to put, put a little heat in the garage is to get it so it'll absorb some of the heat. Yes, uh, I want to raise the temperature up. I don't want all my pot to freeze. Hey, what are you doing? You want to come in? Come on. That's something you got to watch for. The, you got to make sure that door is locked. Is it ever freaking cold out there, man? <laughs> and I might have to uh, put the old trap out. And see if I can catch that squirrel. Because he's eating all the bird feed and the birds need it more than he does. There we go. That's up to about 500, I think. This thing here is one of those eco fans, I think they call it. It don't work very good. <coughs> when it was new, it wasn't bad. But you, it'll, it'll spin eventually. I think you have to kind of kickstart it like I was doing there. I think it goes this way. Oh well. They're experiencing some real cold out in Alberta. Last month, they were in a heat wave out there. There was no snow, no nothing. Kind of like what we were getting here. And then bang. Minus 40, minus 45. Minus 54, I think, in one place. That's freaking cold. So is this bench, actually. Ah, I can feel the heat coming off of it now. Let's get another seat. I need a couple of sticks here.
had some fire mints up there, but this is good enough. <coughs> That's as big as it gets. You can't get much bigger to jam in there. Catches that are really rip. <sighs> yeah, snowballing yesterday. Holy frig! You know, put the, put the ski pants on for that. We had a power outage years ago, and uh, we tried heating water up on the in inside fireplace, but the little shelf that you put on there couldn't get hot enough to hardly boil water. I mean, it took an hour or something. And then uh, I come out here and whip this up, and we had a regular, we had that big sausages and stuff like that. It's a bit of a pain sitting out here. I'm still at the same temperature. big belly and it's not that easy to just, just be sitting down and picking up some crap off the floor. There. Huh. The other day I had to fix the wife's uh, cables underneath the couch in the house and I had, I had to get laying on the floor of course to be able to see under the couch what was going on. It's one of those couches that you got two two pieces of cook or uh, two chairs and they kind of hook into each other. <coughs> so if you lift one up and it comes unhooked, then it's a hell of a thing to put back together. So anyway, I managed to get everything sorted out, and the last thing I didn't do, I didn't pick up the uh, or pull the cord out for the plug in the laptop. And uh, so I had to go back on the floor the second time. But I had to get help to get up the first time. It is hard. If I fall out there, I'm done for. That's why I'm not going too far away from the house anymore. And if I do, like when I went over the hill there, I think it was just in the new year, um... I brought a walkie-talkie with me just in case it got stuck or something. Oh, look at that. The band's going to BL now. So that... We'd be lucky if we sit here and the fire goes out that we'd get this thing up to one degree, but... I'll tell you... You can get it just enough to keep the chill off. But... Even with these heavily insulated boots, my feet are still cold.
Okay, let's see if I can put that on the back of the brick. We'll do a test. That's a fire brick. And I got the brick up there to help hold some, some more energy. And it's going to keep going, eh? I wish we bought the big fireplace though, like the big one with a proper size, like double the size of this, <coughs> where you could feed it a couple of ways, in the front or through the side, or maybe even up to through the top. hurting last night. Thank God there's painkillers out there. But we'll get this done. It'll take all day. Get this turned around but we use this area here behind me for uh, keeping things cold so that we can have more uh, like milk on hand and we don't have to fill the fridge up with juices and whatever and then when you grab it it's nice and freaking cold but normally on the outside it's a couple of degrees warmer and on the far side of the garage where that other thermometer is it's uh well obviously in a couple of degrees colder but I can still read it with my glasses on from inside the house, so if I see a big zero there, then I usually come out and see if I can maybe get a little bit of a fire going just to keep it going, but if it gets any colder than this, we're going to, I'm going to have to start doing this on a regular basis. I think this is the first winter I had to do it. But when my son was hanging out here last winter, or the winter before last, he would uh, light this up and <coughs> he'd get it warm enough that he said it was okay up there. All the heat goes up the staircase. She's a hot one. The wood that I got here, this stuff here, it's like season three years already, I think. Anyway, that's just the way it is. Could have retired in the Philippines, but my wife nixed that idea. And of all the places that we were at, the Philippines was uh, a lot better, but it was a little bit more dangerous than Indonesia. But uh, Indonesia, that was a crazy freaking place. We were running red lights there. The guy that drove us around, the tour guy says, no, 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 sir. We can't stop at the light. The police will come and you'll have to bribe them to get through. And they'll make excuses to keep you there to pay him enough money that he'll let you go. 
And then when we went to Sri Lanka, the last couple of weeks of the big war they had there was on with the uh, Tamal. I can't remember what they were. The anyway, there they were a big war there for years. And uh, there's like a million landmines there. And they don't know where they all are. So they don't tell you to go, you know, you're not supposed to go wandering off. Which makes sense. But uh, we went up quite a ways on the uh, western side. <coughs> then we went to a place called Candy. It was right in the middle of the island. Man, oh man. It, when it rained there, it poured. And the, uh, in Candy, we, we were upgraded to the, the, one of the best rooms in the hotel. I thought, geez, this is great. And uh, only to find out that uh, the elevators weren't working. <laughs> so here we are on about the fifth floor of this friggin' place. And we had to carry our luggage up. And that's when I should have stopped smoking back then. Oh, that was tough. <laughs> and the lizards on the walls on the side of the hotel at night when you went out, they were just crawling with lizards. Geckos, I think they were called. That's not spinning up there as fast anymore. Whatever that temperature is, it's up in the, up in the black there now. I tell you one thing, you don't want to keep fill this up with plywood. I had a bunch of small pieces of plywood from all the construction around, and I was feeding that in there, and. Uh, I had pinned on the right, the, the needle, I buried it on the other side, and uh, it was well over a thousand degrees. I'm lucky I didn't do some damage here. So don't, you can put uh, the odd piece of plywood in there, that throws a lot of freaking heat. Oh, I don't want to go and feed them damn birds. All we're doing mostly is uh, bulking up the couple of squirrels that lives in the woodshed. <coughs> Maybe next summer I'm going to, if I can get to the back, I'll cut a roll of screen and put it up across the back to keep the buggers from coming in. And in a row across the front of that stuff too. It's warm now. You can feel it on my knees. How long did that take? My butt's still friggin' cold. Split that piece too, I see. We'll never get this funny. It's pretty big. And I gotta quit getting sticks for the wife there because they all end up, I gotta get deal with them and get rid of them. They mess up my kindle pile. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's hot.
So it'll blow uh, heat into the main part of the shop here. Geez, that thing works ticky boo, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, let's get this small enough to get rid of it. And it's almost time to go. The batteries must be close to running out. Luckily, we might get a few extra minutes out of it. From it being in the uh, the heat, you can see here. Is I thought that was hot and it was cold. <laughs> Yeah, the turkeys were right up to the fence where the dogs were yesterday. This goes through the wood pretty fast. Yeah, that's it. Set the draft. We'll go over here and see what the temperature's like. Take it in the house. 